Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a kind of mini review slash comparison between, well, what I think are the three most popular SLGs that Louis Vuitton carries. So it's going to be the mini pochette, the six ring key holder, and the key pouch that Louis Vuitton carries. Of course, they're all in monogram because it's me, of course. So let's just get into it. And then also really quickly, so it's just really, really hot today. So my AC is on. So I'm really sorry if you can hear it, if it kind of bothers you. It's just, I tried to film without the AC and I just, I could not. So like I said, this isn't going to be an in-depth review. It's just going to be kind of like a mini run through through each of the products. So let me start with my oldest one. So this is the mini pochette. Honestly, this one, I'm just going to say this off the bat. Out of all three of these, this is my all-time favorite. Obviously, it is bigger. It does hold more. I just really love this because it's compact but it also i don't know you can just fit so much in here i love that it could be an slg but at the same time it could be a little purse you could also use this to just carry things in to kind of help organize your handbag which is really nice so mine is really dirty i've used this to death let me just show you the little details of the hardware so i don't know if you can tell from the zipper it is pretty beat up mind you i did use this almost every single day at one point i love this to death and even the vachetta right here you can see how dark it is you could even see how the louis vuitton print is pretty much faded away it does have a really bad discoloring to be honest but the actual canvas of it i still think is in great shape i've honestly probably spilled alcohol on this way too many times to count but it still looks great and then i'll show you the inside as well so i do have a couple things in here but this is what the inside looks like there's no little tab or anything it's just one small little compartment so i'll just show you what i have in here because i was just using this earlier so i have this little joe malone perfume thing that i just carry you can fit more so this isn't a what fits inside of this it's just i'm just showing you what i have in it right now so i have a little perfume and then i literally just have a dior lip balm so it's the dior lip glow and then my favorite hourglass uh, lipstick it's in the shade i'll never stop this is literally a my lips but better color but anyways and then there's this one. Oh, and then it does have a detachable ring so a lot of times for example when i do go out i actually like to loop this into my jeans so in case i want to be hands-free if you're dancing or whatever you're doing um, you can totally do that or you can use this as a purse and yeah so it's just like really cute you can go like this but in general i usually just carry it like this or i carry it just from the little chain but it's super durable i I love this. I remember too, I brought this to Vegas with me and I went to Night Swim and I literally was just holding it up like this while I was in the pool. I didn't even care. I know you're thinking like, you're so stupid. Why would you even bring that? Honestly, I, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> so yeah, I really, really like this. So then the next item I have is the next one that I actually got. I got this in, I think the summer of 2017, I believe. So I actually didn't buy this. My ex-boyfriend actually bought this for me for us to like match. So it is, it is pretty used up. When I when I first got this one, I just, I thought this was so cute. It was so tiny. I mean, it is so tiny and I don't know. I just, I would see people have this on their keys. And I thought it was just so adorable. So this is what the front looks like. The back is literally the exact copy. And then it comes with the little chain right here. And then of course the zipper just has one compartment as well. And then let me just give you a close up of the chain. The chain looks like this it does have a little lv logo on the top of it and then this is how it goes in and out if anyone has this and you're curious because when i very first got it within five minutes i was like super confused i was like how do you open this so you actually just have to pull this lever up and then open it like that and it's super super easy just in case anyone doesn't know how to open it mine is again like my mini pochette pretty banged up you can see how the zipper is definitely worn down it's not all gold anymore it is kind of scratchy so yeah but the actual most important part of this bit is actually completely fine no scratchiness or anything so yeah so there's this one and then my newest one of course if you haven't seen the video i'll link it up over here somewhere so you can click on it but this is my newest addition to my little lv slg family it is the six ring key holder so all i have is my car keys my mail key my house key and just my most used like little coupon thingies well not coupon thingies the membership card i don't know but so i do have it in the brown but let me just give you a quick outside overview just to run through it so this is what the front looks like and this is what the back looks like and this is what it looks like wide open 
So really quick about this, it does have a little back pouch right over here, but it does go through it completely. So when I first, first opened this and I was like, oh my goodness, why would anyone put anything in here? People would put in the comments and said that you can put your debit card, your driver's license. And I'm like, oh my God, but what if it falls out? Like this is, it's a wide open, you literally can slip on one side and the other, but actually I've tested it. So if you're kind of weary about putting cards in here, like I was, cause you're now team paranoid. So this is my AAA card. So it actually fits in perfectly like this and it doesn't like watch i'm gonna even shake it so it doesn't come off at all it's actually pretty pretty compact i was really nervous that it would be kind of loose but it's actually completely fine i have when i went to just go get starbucks or anything like that i just put my debit card my apple card and my id and then i put it in the back and i can just grab this i don't need a purse or anything so it's super super convenient also i forgot to mention so if anyone has any questions about how to take this part off i realized that i didn't show it in my unboxing video so you're actually gonna put down on both of the sides right here so you're gonna push down so you're not pushing inside you're pushing down so you're gonna push down and then you're able to slide it out like this let me show you and then it just comes off like this so it's super easy and then you could also take these little key things off it's super easy so it's literally like this little ball like this so if you hold it like this this is a little close-up, this is what it looks like. Okay, like this. And then you just stick this ball part. And then you just stick all the little balls into whatever order you want it to be in. And then to push it back in, you just slide it in like this. And then yeah, there you have it. It's super, super easy to use, super easy to put on. So I actually like to put my actual car key because I have the, I don't know what's it's like the push button key to start something like that so i actually hang it because if you just put this little keychain directly on the little rings it honestly doesn't close properly it's just too fat so then i saw somebody i forgot somebody showed it on youtube where they actually use a longer key ring to kind of let it dangle so then it could actually close properly so it looks like this and it just kind of hangs I do want to add that the reason why I did buy this, not even just to have it, but I bought it mainly just to protect the inside of my bags from keys. So what a lot of people don't know is that the key holder is not only to help organize all your keys, but it's actually to protect the inside of your bag. So if you have this key holder and let's say you're wearing a Chanel lambskin boy if you chuck your keys in there without any sort of protector it does tend to scratch pretty easily so putting your keys in something like this does protect the metal keys from scratching and damaging the inside of your bag which is honestly my number one reason for getting this so alrighty and let me just talk about the price really really quickly so the mini pochette accessoire is going to be $365 for this and then the key pouch is going to be $215 and then the six ring key holder is going to be $265. So between the key holder and the mini push accessoire, it's a $100 difference. And then between the key holder and then the mini key pouch, it's going to be around a $50 difference. Okay, honestly, between all three of these, you don't need all three. I'm going to be really honest with you. Out of these three, if you only want to pick one of these, I would highly recommend the mini pochette accessoire. I know it's completely different from this. This is like a little bag essentially. So what I love about this is that this actually can fit keys in here. This can fit AirPods. It can fit a lipstick. It can't fit your phone, but it could fit if you have a really thin card holder. You can put it all in here and this can be like a little mini bag. So I feel like this out of all three of the items is the most versatile. But if you're debating between these two, obviously this one you can put your keys in and you can also put things in the back which is really really nice but for me personally having both of these and if i had to get rid of one i actually would keep this one only because since you do have this and this is how i used to carry my keys to begin with i would just loop this over my car keys and put my other let's say house key or whatever and you can just hold everything together because this little thing i've seen people put their lipstick in it i'll just do it just for the sake of showing so you can fit a lipstick in here i've seen some people like really really puff this up but that's for me personally i never do that i never put a lipstick in here because i just don't like the way that it looks like it being so bulky 
I only put cards or I put cash in here. This literally used to be my ride or die. Like I brought this with me everywhere. I never had a card holder. I never had a wallet. I literally only brought this in my purse and that was it. So it's really good for compacting things. Whereas especially if you have a car key like mine, this is pretty bulky. Honestly, I didn't need this. I just got it because I was thinking that they're gonna have a price increase soon and it's just kind of like I don't know, I feel like these three are like the holy trinity of SLGs from Louis Vuitton. I mean, you can disagree with me, but I just feel like if you're a Louis Vuitton collector, it's just, you just kind of, in a collector standpoint, I feel like it's just a necessity to have this. It's kind of one of their essentials. However, if you just want to buy something out of practicality, like I said, I would personally just pick the key pouch. It's cheaper, it's more affordable, the quality is just as good. Mind you, I've had this for easily five years or almost five years and it's it's doing super strong. This part has no way, and trust me when I say I use this all the time, I would even put this, if I was going out, I would just take this lock and it would fit into my little you know when you're wearing jeans it has the little buckle strap i would just put this here so i was completely hands-free it's like i can put a lipstick in my actual jean pocket but i keep my cards driver's license everything the zipper is really strong this never accidentally opens or anything like that it's just it's really great it's really really great this key holder i don't want to say i regret buying this but i definitely didn't need it but i do really like this i do enjoy this if i didn't have this one i would really enjoy this i do like that you are able to put your cards securely in the back i have tested it and it really does fit compactly especially if you close it it's it's not going anywhere unless maybe if you like really stuff it but probably i would just put maybe let me just show you i'm just gonna grab three cards so i probably max would only put three cards in the back just so it doesn't get too fat but yeah so the three cards fit perfectly so you can put a debit card a credit card and your driver's license and you're good to go so you can see that and it still maintains the shape it doesn't look super bulky or anything like that and then i do have my nano speedy over here i just wanted to show you in case you do own a nano speedy if all three of these could fit so i'm gonna put the mini pochette first so the mini pochette actually does fit into this as long as you place it in properly so it's like this and then you can put your key holder and then even let's say you don't want to touch cash so you can leave cash in here and then there still is a good amount of room so i'm just gonna put my wallet in here as well i mean you don't need all these slgs in a tiny little bag i'm just giving you this for example and then i still have plenty of room and then i can just put this and then you're just good to go it just looks like this <laughs> and then just to add all three of these are available in different canvases they all have it in the damier bean and the damier azure and the monogram canvas so even if you hate monogram because some people do my best friend hates monogram but i don't care i buy this stuff for me they have it available in the other canvases if you would rather have that some people i know like to do one of each they don't want all monogram you can do one in monogram one in damia bean and one in damia zero which i think would actually be super super cute if i didn't love monogram as much as i did i would honestly do that i'd probably get the key pouch in the damia azure this one in the monogram and then this one in the damia bean if i could re-select it that's probably what i would do <laughs> also i did want to add that all my slgs are made in france so for the little key pouch the made in wherever is going to be on the inside right over here so i don't know if you can see that but it does say made in france and then my six ring key holder is also made in france i know that it is a little bit hard to see just because of the coloring and then my mini pochette is also made in france as well but obviously this has been through the test of time the made in france part is right there i don't know if you can see that also just to add the main reason why i don't use this on a regular day to day is just because i like to rotate through all my slgs just to give them each like a little bit of time with me you know <laughs> especially since i just bought this one i put this one away and then on top of that i already carry my little chanel card holder so there's no point in having two separate wallets at least for my lifestyle so yeah Alrighty guys we have come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching i hope this video was kind of helpful to you if you were 
trying to decide between one of the three or if you have one of these items and you're debating on getting another one so yeah if you have any further questions about any of the key pouches that i have then just leave them down in the comments and then i'll get back to you as soon as i can so like always don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys